Good morning from Levy at Interski 2023 here at the uh, group meeting area and I'm heading over to catch up with the Australians this morning. This is my third time at Interski. I was in Argentina and Bulgaria before and it's a really fantastic event and thanks a lot for coming along to our workshop. So we've just set off uh, with the APSI technical clinic for today. Um, I'm with Tom Langtree, or as he says, Langers, and um, basically we're looking at uh, Australia's four skills, which are stance, rotary, edging, and pressure control, and then how they blend together and fit into the Australian performance model. So the four skills I said were stance, just the way we stand on the skis, rotary, it's what we're saying for how the ski is twisting on the snow, which is primarily from the lake, but how the ski is twisting on the snow, Edging, the ski tipping on the edge, and pressure control, which we say is how we're balancing from foot to foot or dealing with changes in pressure. And we're gonna try mixing different amounts of these skills to produce a different outcome. Let's start off here where it's flat to do some turns in the snowplow. And then we're going to go over the roll there. It's a bit steeper under the ridge than another roll. Then do a parallel. And for this, with those four skills, it's a stance, rotary, edging, pressure control. We're going to try to do lots and lots of rotary. We're going to try to twist the ski a lot on the snow, but not much edging at all. And we're going to see then what the result is for that on the snow. And you can see on the bar graph, we're mixing these four skills in different amounts. And these words are steering, carving, and pure carving. These are the names of our performances, which that mix produces. So we're just uh, exploring the different sort of ski performances. Um, we've looked at skidding, steering, carving, which in Australia, carving is a sort of middle performance between steering and what Australia calls pure carving. And now we are getting into some pure carving and we're doing it in a medium radius. And we've been sort of experimenting essentially with rotation or rotary of the ski, how much twisting, as they call it in Australia, how much twisting uh, action or force you apply to the ski throughout the different performance levels. Your own country's instructor association, is this something anyone is training or is it part of your examination system? It's not the examination system, but no? uh, it is part of the training. In training? Yeah. Yeah. Part of the exam? What do you do? Um, it's like skidding and then covering. Yeah. yeah. It's like in the level 4 exam, it's every year. Mm -hmm. okay. Anybody else? Yeah, we call what we talk about the ski flow interaction, and it's also skidding, steering, or carving. Uh -huh. uh, but I like how you separate like carving from pure carving. So yeah, yeah in between. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. And it covers that gray area. For us, we don't we don't speak about that so far. It's kind of nice to put it in words and be conscious of it. Yeah, I mean, um, we've been obviously discussing this a lot the last few months, and with our rotary and edging and also the width of the track obviously there's an entire scale and we talked about the idea it's uh how do you say like a music music meter you have the thing and you can slide it up and down and obviously there's an entire scale and in australia we happen to refer to five different points on the scale there's five different performances but obviously you can have anywhere in there maybe like you said a lot of countries you have uh three words and we're just adding in one or two extra words in somewhere in between. Hey guys, I'm here with Tom Langshi from the APSI at the technical workshop. And uh, Tom, if you just tell the viewers in New Zealand what uh, what's the goal of the session and, and how does it relate to guest experience? Yeah, g'day everyone in New Zealand. Uh, the goal of our technical workshop is to go through our four skiing skills that we have and how we blend them in different amounts to achieve different turn types and different outcomes and different performances on the snow. And relating this to the guest experience, you know, this uh, system that we have helps our instructors be able to coach the guests through how to ski different terrain, 
how to ski in different situations and obviously how to progress uh, to more difficult skiing and more high speed skiing. Perfect. Well, thank you very much, Tom. It's been a pleasure. No worries. Thank you. Thanks, guys.